All right, this is just a recap on all the different kinds, okay? Kinds of things. Okay, so first, draw, draw your number line. Put the zero. You don't have any parentheses. You can only have one X. There it is, but we want to put a one in front of it, okay? Dot and circle that X, okay? Uh, by the way, x, if you don't have a multiply, if you don't know what it's multiplied by, it's multiplied by 1. Okay, is a dot number negative? No, that 1 was not negative. Okay, anytime I put a 1 there, it's going to be positive. Okay, so the sign, same way. Okay, anything outside your little circle? Um, yeah, okay. So plus 3, minus 3, minus 3 on the other side. So I got 1 dot x. I've got the sign, and I've got negative 1. Okay, now time to divide. You can divide by 1 if you want to. It's not really going to change much, but that's fine. Okay. And now I put my x. Sign didn't change because I didn't divide by a, ne by a negative. The number I'm dividing by is down here. It's positive. Okay. Negative 1. Okay. So, negative 1. The line's not there, so we will not fill that 1 in. And then less sign goes that way. Okay, my next one. Okay. Draw a normal line. Any parentheses? No. You can only have one X. There it is, but it needs a number right in front of it, and that would be a 1. Okay. Okay, and why don't you dot that X and circle it? Okay. Okay, it's dot number negative. See that 1? Is that negative? No, it's plus 1. So keep the sign the same. Okay. Okay, you have anything outside? Yeah, you have a positive 5. Remember, 2's on the other side. Okay, I don't care about that for now. I mean, I'll use it, but not when I'm trying to get rid of get the x by itself on one side. Okay, so minus 5. Minus 5. So I've got 1 dot x, positive 1, so just 1. And the sine. And 2 minus 5 is negative 3. And now it's time to divide. You can divide by 1, doesn't really change it at all. Okay. So x, sine has not been changed because I knew I was going to divide by 1 all along at the end after I get rid of what's outside. And then negative 3. So negative 3, circle, got a bar underneath, so fill it in, and nose goes that way. Okay, my next problem. Draw your number line, get rid of any parentheses. Yeah, we don't really have any. You can only have one x, which we do, dot circle. Okay, is that dot negative, the number in the dot? Yeah, so that sign needs to go opposite, okay? So I'll be going the other way with it. Okay, is there anything outside the circle? No, there's not really, okay? So I don't need to plus or minus. I just need to divide, though, okay? Cancel, okay? So I've got x. The number I just divided by underneath is negative, so the sign has been flipped. Negative 18 divided by negative 6 is positive 3. Okay. Okay, you circle the bars there, you fill it in, and that goes this way. Ooh, this one, look, I'm not even going to use a sheet on this one, okay? Because this one is not like the others, okay? It has a fraction, okay? So we need matching fractions, okay? And what I do is cross multiply and divide, okay? But when I do that, before I do that, underneath the X is a negative number. So that sign is going to need to switch. And now I just multiply and divide, okay? I'll have X here. And I take negative 3 times 2 divided by 1, negative 6, okay? So it's really not a hard problem, just it's not doesn't look like some of the others. 
Okay, if I see a fraction, I'm gonna I'm gonna abort this sheet and need to do my C mad. Cross multiply and divide is what that stands for. Circle your bars there, fill it, and nose points that way. So x is any number that's less than negative six. Okay, my next problem. Let's get this bad boy going. Number line, okay, get rid of any parentheses. Yeah, I don't really have any. You can only have one X, there it is. Okay. Okay. Um, dot and circle the X, I kind of already did that. Okay, is a dot negative? Yeah, so that will not stay that way. It goes this way when I go to graph the number. Okay, anything outside the circle? Yeah, minus 5. So plus 5, plus 5. So I've got negative 6 dot x. Got the sign, and that's 18. Okay. All right, now let's divide. Cancel. x, now the number I'm dividing by here underneath is negative, so sign has been switched already. And that's negative 3. Okay? You have to be ready for that sign switch, which is why I say, teach it the way I do. Circle, and that's pointing that way. Okay. okay, next one. This kind of looks like trouble. Okay, As you can see, you have plus negative, plus negative. Okay. So the line here. Okay. You don't have any parentheses, but you have more than one X. Now, here's my sign that I circled. They're on the same side, so we don't switch. We add off to the side. So I'm going to make a little thing down here. So I need to add the 6X to the negative 3X. Okay, it's called collecting like terms. That's 3. Okay, 3X. Okay, so my x's were over here. I'm going to write 3x, and then I'm going to cross those off. Okay, now if you're wondering why I put 3x, because that's what I got here. So this is where the x's were at, so I put 3x, but I also have a plus negative 4. I have a sign, and I've got 14. Okay, again, those x's, if you're wondering how I got the 3x, I had two x's, okay. They were on the same side, so I just went ahead and added them. Got 3x. Then I crossed out the x's that were there. And I also had a negative 4, the sign, and 14. Okay, that's how you deal with x's on the same side. Okay, now that you have 1x, you can dot him and circle him. That's positive, so that sign will not change. Okay. All right, um, got anything outside of the circle? Yep, plus 4, and then we're going to divide by 3, and then we'll have our answer. You plus 4 first, though. 18. Okay, and now it's dividing time. Okay, so I now have x. I now have an 18 divided by 3 is 6. Sign didn't change there because I was dividing by a positive. Okay, dividing by positives doesn't change the sign. The reason why dividing by negatives change the sign is because they change the signs on the numbers too. Okay, Pop bar there and go that way with him. Okay, number lines there, get rid of it. You don't have any parentheses. Okay, you can only have one X. There's two, but this time it's a little easier because they're on opposite sides. Okay, I can see more what I'm doing when they're on opposite, unlike here where they're on the same. Add them. You just replace these both these two with your 3X. Okay. All right, switch the 3X to uh, minus. And then I just go from here, 5 take away 3 is 2x, minus the 12, the sign, and then negative 4. 
Okay, anything else? And okay, you need to dot your X now if there's as soon as there's only one of them. Okay, that's positive, so that sign will go the same way. Okay, anything outside the circle? Uh, yeah, the negative 12, we got to get rid of him. So I've got 2 dot X, I've got the sign. Negative 4 plus 12 is 8, and now it's time to divide. And when I divide, I transfer my work over here. So that's X, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Okay, so 4, circle, fill it in, goes that way. Okay, draw a number line. Get rid of parentheses if you have any. I don't have any. Okay, you can only have one X. You do, oh, and you notice here there's two signs. Okay, so there's going to be two numbers on this line. Okay. Okay, dot and circle that X, and it is not. Negative, so both these signs will not change. Okay, um, anything outside the circle? Yeah, a plus 9, so I'm minus 9, but i got to then do it to the negative 6 and the 21. So negative 6 minus 9 is negative 15, and then the sign, and then 3 dot x, and then the sign, and then 12. Okay? Now it's time to divide. Which one do I divide? Both of them. Yeah, man. So negative 5. The sign has not been flipped. And then x. And then um, 4. Okay. All right. So there we have it. So negative 5 and 4 are the two numbers. Okay, the bar, there are no bar, the, the little line's not underneath, so we don't shade either one of them in, we just connect them. Alright guys, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it has been informative, and you have a great day.